Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm kind of new with this. Um, Great. So forgive me if my question is obvious. Um, but how um, how can you say that uh, Bitcoin, for example, uh, eventually will um, um, how do you say that um, contribute to make it easy to support terrorist groups, for example? Oh, well, I mean, first we'd have to displace the most important funding mechanism that terrorist groups have, which is the U.S. dollar and oil, uh, some of which we gave to them directly um, through our governments. Um, who are we fighting this time? I think, wait, wait, we were against Al-Qaeda until now we're helping them in Syria. Or are we with Daesh now? I don't know. I can't keep up with all of that. Um, bottom line is that um, we live in a world where criminals use money. They use telephones, they use shoes, most of them drink water. Um, we don't ban technologies because criminals use them. What we do is we make those technologies as broadly available as possible because 99.99% of humanity will use those technologies for food, sanitation, health care, education. Uh, and those are promising technologies. On the fake promise that we're going to stop terrorism by controlling everybody's money, we exclude four and a half billion people from the current financial system. I don't accept that bargain. So um, I'm not concerned about whether criminals will use it. I'm much more concerned about the fact that we can make everybody else part of a global financial system with full access to all of the tools that we enjoy in this room. <laughs>